this video is about uh, four basic operations of a computer and they are input, processing, output, and storage. Input is the idea of taking data through an appropriate input device and getting it into main memory. When you load up your favorite game it goes from your hard drive into the main memory. So that's an input operation. When you type a short report the ideas flow from your brain through the keyboard uh, into main memory. That's an input operation. I'll come back to processing in just a second. Output is when you take the newly created information and you make it available um, to the user. Now the information is going to come from main storage and it's going to flow through an output device to the user. When you print a chart report, the chart report goes from main memory to a printer. When you uh, call information and you ask for a phone number and it automate it it gives you the phone number back that you've asked for. That's output. So these are examples of output. Uh, getting information from main memory through the appropriate output device so the user can use it. Storage is when you take data, information, or programs and you store them on a hard drive or other storage media for later use. When you install your favorite game, okay, which is a program, you're basically putting it on your hard drive. Um, when data comes in from uh, to Major League Baseball after after all the sports teams play on a given evening, all that data comes in. Um, that data is stored on a hard drive, and later on, sometime in the middle of the night, all that data is churned or processed into information. So, so data also can be can be stored on a hard drive. Uh, and when you generate all that information and you send it out to the wire services and to all the different uh, mediums for for um, just being displayed, when you're done, you're going to archive that information. Well, that's an example of storage. So data information programs being stored on a hard drive for later use. Now, processing has two parts to it. Processing is another operation. It, it has an arithmetic part. It's like a big giant calculator. You know, if you think of 5 times 2 divided by 4, right? 5 times 2 is 10 divided by 4 is 5. It took me about a second to do that. Well, the computer can perform billions of those calculations per second. So when you talk about the computer performing a processing operation, one way of looking at it is simple arithmetic, a calculator. But really, the computer gets its power from the from what we call logic. Logic is the ability of a computer to make a comparison or a test. And based on the result of that test, make a decision. Uh, when you guys log in, you type a, a, a student name and a password. And if the password matches the password on file for that student name or student number, you get access. And if it doesn't, you're denied access. If you call the airline and you want to get a purchase a ticket for a flight, um, there's a process where they're comparing seat numbers to see if the seat you want is available. If it is, you can, be, you can reserve it. If it's not, you're not going to reserve that seat. So the computer's ability to perform a test okay, is called logic. And based on logic, the computer um, can make a decision where it, it performs one of many different choices. In a way, I see logic like you're driving a car, you come to a fork in the road, you go left or you can go right, but you can't go both ways. The computer's ability to perform these tests is logic. So we have four different operations of a computer. Input, processing, output, and storage.